Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gino, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own um video thumbnail for your YouTube channel without being partnered. Um, many people have been asking me how I have like a thumbnail on my channel on my videos without being partnered, and it's really simple actually. But if you realize it, it's on my playlist, and if you go to my uploads, it's actually just regular, as you see right here. Like I don't have custom thumbnails for that. But I could show you how to get custom thumbnails if you really want um, custom thumbnails on regular videos like this. But it might take up some video space towards the end. Alright, but if you want today I'm going to show you how to, get, how to get it on your playlist and how to get it also on your regular video footage. Alright, but it's actually really simple. I got a request on Skype. I'll, play the, I'll show the message somewhere on the screen. Like a screenshot of it. So not lying to you because I've, I've been getting a lot of requests lately from to upload tutorials and whatnot I'm getting a lot of support from the community all right guys but let's get started so the first thing you want to need, need is basically a thumbnail so I have two thumbnails right here on top but yeah I'm one of them I might be giving away which is this one this one is a random one that I created and the one over here is the one that I'm using now actually so this one is the one on my channel as you can see looks similar now I added the black lines just because just for a little style look because if you go to my carbon made or my portfolio you should see the same kind of style I don't know I just like it there if you don't want it, you can take it off but basically what you're gonna do you're gonna want to do is go to Photoshop and create your own image um, I suggest you make it 1280 by 720 because that's the size that YouTube um, uses. So yeah, you can go ahead and type in 1280 and uh, height 720, and then just create basically what you want, or you can just go to the description below and download this. But I'm only going to release a download link if I get five li five likes to this video. So if you guys want this, just leave five likes, and this whole thing will come to you. It's basically color correction, light shadows, and the arrows tab if you want this or not. You could put it, and you can go to text and add this. But, I mean, I don't really like it, but I don't know. Let's put that in there for some uh, an effect. Alright, but I'm just going to toggle that off. And basically, when you're done making it, like, once, you, once you're done over here creating it or whatever, maybe believe I'm done, Um, you're going to want to go to Control, Shift, and S. Or you just go to file and save as and save it to your desktop, name it whatever you want. Um I'm just gonna name it, leave it thumbnail template by Gino and save it as a JPEG or a PNG, it doesn't really matter, it could be anything you want. And make sure it's high qual the highest quality as possible. And yeah, mine says free thumb episode one. Um yeah, it doesn't have to say that. You could just change it around, it's really simple to change it. Let's go to text and yeah, simply just edit it right there. It's not that hard. And the color correction, if you want to change it, add some stuff. You could add green, add whatever you want, change the colors around, and yeah. But once you have it right here, the pit, the image, you're gonna want to open up um Sony Vegas. So you can go ahead and drag and drop this image into Sony Vegas, into the, the bin, whatever you want to call this, and then you're gonna want to add it to the timeline. And then once you got it on the timeline, just like simply just copy it and paste it again. So it's like two of them. And yeah, so it's like a video. Then double click on it and these arrows should pop up on top of it. And just drag it to the beginning. So both of these will be rendered out into one video. So you can go up here to file, render as. And if you want to add color corrections from Sony Vegas, you can. To maybe um, fix it up a bit if you don't like it like that. But I think it's okay like this. So yeah, just name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Gino. Um, thumbnail. Uh, Gino thumbnail. Okay, yeah, Gino thumbnail. And press um template. Oops. Um, let's make it a WMV or whatever. It doesn't really have to be WMV. If you want, you could do that. Right here, save it as whatever you want. Um, template. I'm just gonna use that settings for now, 
And then once this is done rendering, it should take like 10 seconds literally. Alright, but once that's done loading, um, gets to 100%, that it should disappear and you can just lower that down and you'll see a video on your desktop. And I was having a little bit of problems looking for the actual um, things because if you have an image, it's going to show up like a whole bunch of images like PNG and stuff then render it out as a PNG or whatever. But just simply just type, like, keep on looking and you'll see WMV. That's why I was like stuttering. I, I couldn't find it before. But anyways, once you have your video, you're going to want to go back to your channel. Go to upload. And select files from your computer. Go to your, wherever you saved it to. And click on the video. You can go ahead and open it. And it basically let it upload to your YouTube channel. And it should upload in literally one second, as you see. And let it finish processing right in here. I don't like to leave the page until it's done processing, but if you really want to, you can just come over here and just press save and quit. But before you do anything, make sure you save it as unlisted and press save. Now it says upload complete. Now you can just go um, to your video manager. And as you see right here, this is my little thing and now if you want this picture on your thumbnail I mean your playlist is basically go to your playlists or create a new playlist I go to playlists and yeah go right here to new playlist name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it uh, Gino press create playlist so now you have a thing press save Okay, now I go back to your video manager and come over here to the unlisted video and press add to and it added to the playlist that you made. And then you can go back to your playlist tab and enter it like to edit it or mess around with it. Oops, sorry. The video is just basically a long, um, vid like a literally however long you saved it, I mean rendered it. That's basically how long it is. Go over here to edit, and what you want to do the playlist, video thumbnail, whatever. Just make sure it's selected. Use this thumbnail, and yeah, refresh save. Now you can go to your channel over here, and now you gotta enable it. So just go to video and playlist, and enable the Gino one. Press save, and now if you look. At your tabs, you'll see a uh, free thumb episode one that you made, and it looks pretty cool. So now I'm gonna show you how to basically create like a regular thumbnail on one of these videos. Now it's pretty simple. Um, I mean, but I I don't like doing it because the render time is ridiculously long. It's kind of gay, but I mean, if you guys want it, then yeah, I'm not gonna stop you from doing it. But I'm just going to pause the video and get a really quick video footage of a random tutorial I did. So just a moment. Okay, so I'm just going to use it in one of these intros. Um, Okay, let's say I want the Imagine Customs. You just drag and drop it into the, your Sony Vegas. And I believe this is the video that you want the custom thumbnail to be on. So basically what you want to do is just ha add your video in here. And once it's done, whatever, you get done editing it. And then get the thumbnail. And just take both of the thumbnails and put it towards the end. And now, I don't know how many copies you need to do of this. But you need to paste like three copies at least. Because, yeah, it needs to all render out together. So drag the line to the last one. And as you see, the blue, the blue line at the end makes it. So, yeah. Alright, so all this now is one video. So once that's all done, basically it's going to render out this and YouTube is automatically going to pick up the thumbnail, the longest part of the video and add it to your thumbnail. So if, if I go to my ch this video right here and I go to, let me just pause it, okay. Now if I go to edit video and then go to video thumbnail, it's, gonna, it's basically going to pick the longest frame that was played and this is the longest frame, this is the second longest and this is the third longest. So, 
Um, these three are obviously the most longest as this one. So it was automatically going to pick up um, this thumbnail right here that she created. So that's basically it. I'm not going to render that out because it's going to take really long to upload and to edit as well on YouTube. But that's basically it. If you upload it, just simply just go to, just click on the video when it's done. You go to edit info, video thumbnail, and it should be appearing on one of these three. Alright guys, but that's basically it. Um, hope this tutorial helped. If it didn't, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below. And I'll be glad to help you out. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys real soon. Peace out.